emphasis on the word hard. Hmm. All right, all right, I'll do it already. Just stop nagging me. And with those scintillating comments out of the way, the starfish finally and not so delicately thrust into his bestest pal, unlubricated asshole. Hmm. Feels good, right? How does SpongeBob manage to remain so tight after such... Tile penetration was beyond the Patrick, and frankly, the starfish didn't care. He was pretty hard to concentrate on deep philosophical problems for him anyway, especially while his dick was encased in such a hot and melody pleasure. Look, 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 Smudge Dar! He, he pulled back, slammed roughly into it. He continued his muffled squealing and moaning as the starfish continued pumping in and out, thrusting him that much closer to sweet please. Yes! Harder! 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 More! Mm. Mm. The sea star, equally unsatisfied, pulled away. Trickle of pre-crumb trailing as he disconnected. April fools, he whispered to the bound sponge. Hmm? Mm. Mm. SpongeBob wiggled his arms, desperate to break away, desperate to punch Patrick in the face, desperate to get Patrick to finish what he had started. Patrick pulled on his shorts, leaving for the bathroom to jack off. Greatest prank ever. SpongeBob's dick felt like it was as though it was about to fall off. Damn, this sucked. SpongeBob, I need two Krabby Pa T T Ts. Squidward trailed off as he looked into the kitchen, eyes wide at the sight before him. Oh, should I mention that this was set in the Krusty Krab? Looks like Squiddy got an April Fool's surprise, too. Let's move on to the next and final fanfic. Leave me alone. Okay, this fanfic is by Tweaked Reality. Well, at least there's nothing sexual about this guy's name. Sexual or racist or sexist or just plain prejudice. Okay. This fanfic is rated M. It's English. It's Hurt Comfort Horror. It's Spongebob and Squidward. Must I read this? Must I seriously read this fanfic? I might as well. I've gotten this far, haven't I? Okay, author's note. I have never done a Spongebob fic, and I have never done a fic quite like this one either. Shifty Eyes. It may just be a one-shot, but it might continue. Well, if it's going to continue, then it won't be a one-shot! This is a weird story. I have never used some of the words in here this way. Enjoy anyway. M for a reason, people. Strong violence and adult themes. Please review, though. Taking a chance. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, saying the little yellow sponge as he skipped down the path leading from his pineapple house door. For God's sakes, yelled the bluish squid out of his window. Shut the hell up, you dribbling moron. Hi, Squidward, replied the oblivious sponge, still skipping down the road. SpongeBob continued down the road, and instead of turning right towards the strangely curved roof building of the Krusty Krab, he turned left into Bikini Bottom, into Bikini Bottom Town Center. He was soon surrounded by the crooked metal buildings of the poorly drawn town he loved. He skipped down the road. Hi, sorry about that. Just my sister saying she's on her way home. Okay, let's continue to read this. Where was I? Okay. He skipped down the road, shouting hi to every single fish and single cell bacteria that he could happen to pass. The large squid nose tugged his clarinet before placing to his lips and blowing. The shrill, headache-giving whine rang out and echoed against the walls of his stonehead house. He sighed. Even he knew that his clarinet-playing ability was not as good as he believed or hoped it to be. 
He placed his black instrument in the bulletproof glass case he had ordered to prevent a certain two annoying neighbors from destroying his beloved wooden pastime. Okay, you really don't need the comma after prevent. He then turned his turned to his window and watch in watching don't you mean watched the unbelievably stupid pink starfish by the name of Patrick Star. He was standing, dribbling, and staring into space. Stupid fat star, he grumbled to himself. Suddenly he got an idea and walked towards one of his more horrible self portraits of him. It was hanging on the wall next to the door. He looked around himself and took it off the wall. There was a cold metal safe in a hole in the wall. It was a precaution should SpongeBob ever push him just that little further. He turned the dial. 4, 54, 21. He listened for the telltale click that told him he had opened the safe. Inside on a silk <coughs> on inside on a silk pillow Squidward had insisted on putting in there was a pistol. A shiny, gray, cold, metal killing pistol. Okay, no, 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 it's not a killing pistol. It's a pistol that shoots out cake. Who wants cake? You want some cake? Here, have some cake. He looked behind him again. He felt really edgy, and his hand began to shake. Suck it up, squid, suck it up, he told himself. He span around again and screamed. SpongeBob and Patrick had been standing behind him while he was removing the gun. Okay, where the hell did they come from? If this safe is like right next to the door, he would have seen them coming in the corner of his eye. Duh. What the fuck? Watch your mouth, Squidward. Hey, Squidward, what's that? inquired SpongeBob. Is he really that stupid? Squidward thought for a moment and then told SpongeBob that he would tell him if he shut and bolted all of the windows and the door. When the overeager sponge came back into the room, he was horrified to see Squidward holding a gun to the brainless cone of Patrick's head. Squid, what are you doing? He whispered. You are finally going to see, Sponge, how much torment you have caused me. I never liked you. In fact, I hate you, despise you. Huh? But you never got a clue. All this time, you never left me alone. He replied, tightening his grip on the gun. SpongeBob stood quietly during Squidward's not quite finished yet speech. He never took his eyes off the gun. He sees SpongeBob, I'm going to kill this idiot and then you. I have had enough of your high pitched laugh and your happy go fucking lucky attitude. I don't believe you, SpongeBob interrupted. The squid pulled the trigger and shot a bullet through Patrick's head, making SpongeBob scream. Squidward then smiled and put the gun down on the bleeding wreck of SpongeBob uh, on, of Patrick's head and walked towards SpongeBob. In fact, I will get you back. I will get back those years of torment. I won't kill you, but you are going to have. But we are going to have some fun tonight. So Squidward whispered into the whimpering Sponge's ear. Love it. Hate it. Read it. Review it. I might write a second chapter of Squidward's fun if I get enough reviews. It does not compute. This story does not compute. These three fanfics do not compute. They do not make any sense in my mind. SpongeBob is supposed to be a children's thing. And all three fanfics were anything but that. It just makes no sense. This thing is, 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 these fanfics are just wrong. They are wrong. They do not deserve to be existed. They are just, they make absolutely no sense. The, it's just biz wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. The first one was a waste of time. The second one was just gross. And the third one is just creepy. Creepy. It just makes no sense. It does not make any sense at all. This, these fanfics don't make any sense. It does not make sense in my mind. It does not comprehend in my little mind what these fanfics are. These fanfics are just bizarre. They are bizarre. They are bizarre. Oh, they are so, so bizarre. <laughs> they're bizarre. <laughs> they're bizarre. They're bizarre. They're bizarre. <laughs> they're bizarre. They're bizarre. They're bizarre. Oh, bizarre. I am the future.
fanfic critic. I read it. You listen. And now you get to share my faith. <laughs>